One of the oldest rivalries in all the land, Mail Manual, the 136th meeting between Just the two schools. Just a few people interested in that Just one. Just a handful. Mail has won four straight, but the Crimson's pushing back against the trend. Morris is four and a touchdown there. It's 13-6. Bulldogs at that point. Then Cam Cheshire going up top, finding Rashawn McCauley to make it 26 for the purple and gold. Manual, though, mounts a bit of a comeback. This touchdown would make it 27-6 in favor of the Bulldogs. I mentioned that comeback. Floyd from 18 yards out. It's now 27-13. Now, the Bulldogs would Paul the Crimson, but a lot of penalties. And afterwards, a hot Chris Wolf disappointed with his 7-2 football team. We won the game, but you're, when you're up 27-6, it's more of a relief when you win 27-20. So uh, forgive me for not being overjoyed. I uh, didn't want it to be that close. It shouldn't have been that close. So, uh, you know, I, I just uh, real disappointed in the, uh, the amount of penalties we have, and I'll, I'll certainly look at them and make sure they were legit. All right, this was not an easy night for the Ballard Bruins. They got a visit from unbeaten Trinity. Bruins defense, though, showing up early. They forced a three and out on Trinity's first drive. Then later in the first, Nick Vaughn's pass deflected, and Carter Ness, he's here for it, literally. He comes up with the interception for Ballard. The Bruins offense, though, could not do anything with it. So on Trinity's next drive, Vaughn gets it to one of his own guys, Rondale Moore. You may have heard of him. Pretty good. He's, he's very fast. Moore scores from 20 yards out, and Trinity takes a 7-0 lead. Turns out Moore just getting warmed up. First play of the second quarter, handoff goes to Rondale. He turns the corner and takes it in untouched. Trinity wins 49-0 to finish the regular season at 10-0. Rocks have a bye next week. Turns out a lot of one-sided scores tonight. Will Walford's say next Tigers in control the whole time against a usually pretty solid Butler squad, Jack Albers. Hands off to Dom Algier. I ruined that. Algier, I believe. Algier, who takes it right up the middle, turns on a 24-yard touchdown run. The second of the game, and it gives St. X a 30-0 lead in the second quarter. Then the defense making things hard on, on Chaz Burks all night. Richard Bascom and Ben Shugart chasing him down here for the loss of 10. Tigers poke the bear. Never poke the bear. Second straight shutout win, 37-0.